saying about this, Nicole? Well, you can understand, Candace, riders are not feeling good about this. Let's talk about what police say happened. They say a man stabbed another man on board a one train. Witnesses say after the stabbing, the victim was seen stumbling behind me, bleeding in bad shape. Police are back at it, combing the subway station in Washington Heights, looking for evidence. They say the victim and his attacker were both on a northbound one train around 11.15 Wednesday night. That's when the attacker plunged a knife into the 39-year-old victim's chest. The attack, unprovoked and very concerning to writers. I'm already pretty anxious as a person, so... That just kind of adds to it a little bit. It's triggering. I have a son as well. Um, being that he was unprovoked, that's scary as well. Every day riding the train, it feels like you're in a war zone. The victim was able to get off the train to get help. His attacker stayed on the train. Police recognized the man responsible from surveillance video as someone who rides the one train often. Sources say he's harassed passengers on the train before. The environment of New York, like, it's become normalized for people to do stuff like that. Recently, Mayor Eric Adams talked about subway safety and overall crime being down for seven months straight. So those 4.1 million riders every day are seeing the impact of uh, how we have rolled out an initiative. We inherited uh, a slight bump in January, and you talk about turning the corner, we did just that. NYPD crime stats show subway crime is down more than 5% year to date, but that does not change the perception or fear some riders have. I don't feel safe. I don't know what measures, you know, we're going to take to make sure that this doesn't happen or continue to happen. Stopped taking the train a lot freshman year because there was a stabbing on the train station where I got off at and I just started taking the bus instead. Sources are telling us police know exactly who they're looking for, so it's only a matter of time. But if you have any information on this, call Crime Stoppers. The number's right there. It's 800-577-TIPS. For now, we're live in Washington Heights. Nicole Johnson, PIX11 News. All right. Thank you, Nicole.